Welcome back everyone to On.net. I'm your host, James Montemagno. Today I have two of my best friends in the world from one of my favorite companies that bake beautiful Asana controls for .NET MAUI and your Xamarin Forms apps, the good folks over at UX Divers. I have Pablo and Diego with me. How's it going, guys? Hello, James. Thank you for the interaction. Amazing. Ah, I am so excited to have y'all here. You had some great sessions at .NET Conf and y'all have been building amazing toolkits and providing services for .NET developers around the globe with first Xamarin Forms and now .NET MAUI stuff and beyond. I'm so excited. Now, people don't know about UX divers and Grail uh, kit and any of this stuff. You want to give them a breakdown really quick? Well, we, we started with UX divers back in 2015. And the idea with the when, when we started was to be provide like good UX and UI for all the .NET companies or .NET uh, developers out there trying to build things with .NET. And we already knew that that the um, creating good user experience and UIs in the in the .NET platform was, was very difficult. And we that was the, the vision back in 2015. And we started, of course, with, with Summer Informs. And we built our first uh, UI kit back then, Graya UI kit version 1 in 2015, I guess it was. And, here we are in, with the version four of the kit. Now it's also available for the .NET MAUI, and essentially it's a huge library of controls and templates and reu reusable things that anyone can use in their apps. Uh, it's much more than that, but um, the idea is that uh, with with Gradle UI Kit, uh, you can build whatever in a fraction of time. That's uh, the the whole concept behind it. Yeah. It's beautiful now, and now many folks know you for Grail, the UI kit itself. But you know, we were talking that you know it's much more than Grail kit. Like UX divers, you do a lot more than that, correct? Correct. Yeah, correct. We are we do more than that. Um, we special we, we we have an expertise on helping companies in uh, creating astonishing like UX and UIs for their apps. Uh, a lot of the things we do in UX divers is re redesign and rebuild applications that look like um, 20, 20 year old applications, you know, like you, you probably are familiar with those UIs from the 90s and we had them refresh the, the whole thing and, you know, um, and bring the, their applications back to life with uh, .NET technologies and we are pretty good at it, yeah. It's awesome because, you know, it's great to see, like, you know, when you're building the UI toolkits and then you're actually using the UI toolkits yourselves and then people can take advantage of the UI toolkits and awesome mm -hmm. service as well. Now, y'all have been doing this, but there's something new that you just released in the last several months, correct? Correct. Correct. Yeah. Uh, a couple of months ago, we released the Grial Studio extension for Visual Studio, um, which you can find there in the Grial UI kit web page under Gradle Studio. You can see more and then, and I will um, throw the ball to Diego so he can explain it better than me. Awesome. Thank you, Pablo. So yeah, Gradle Studio is uh, uh, an extension of Visual Studio for Windows. So you can, you can find information here, but you can just go into Visual Studio and search for extensions. Uh, type Gradle Studio, and it will show up. It uh, works in, 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 in uh, both architectures, so it's available everywhere. Um, um, and yeah, what it is, it's uh, it's a way of it's a very better way of using Grail. Actually, uh, as Paulo briefly mentioned, Grail it's a, a set of a huge set of pages, templates, controls, helpers, icons, and everything related to the UI. So to enable developers that don't have access to designers or don't have design skills to build beautiful applications. Uh, and faster. Okay, so what what we propose is to for you to choose in in a, in a huge library of, of pre made uh, stuff, which is very flexible. I will show you later on. And 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 Grail Studio, um, it's a way of integrating all those all that beautiful content into the IDE. So um, uh, basically, what it does is to read your project, uh, Maui project. Uh, open. You can open a gallery and have everything there, and you can, with a few clicks, integrate any page icon. Uh, and it has another, a few tools, uh, helpers that that we are um, 
bring in in, in the next versions that I, I will briefly mention. And, and what else? The, the, the other thing that we did with this uh, release that, that was in the NetConf was to, for the first time, to add a free tier on Rail. Mm -hmm. Okay, So we have a, a, a set of... Uh, 2015 screens that are totally free. And so if you go and install Grail Studio, uh, you sign up and that's it. You, you need anything else. You can start grabbing that beautiful content that it's free and it's available for everyone. And we hope it's useful for everyone. So let me now go into Visual Studio. I have a, a, a project open here. Sorry, it's uh, called Demo Studio. It's, a, it's basically a new MAUI project that, that has um, a paid license. So it has a license of Rail. But if you go for the free tier, you don't have anything uh, like this. But it's basically a, a, a new MAUI project. And to go to Grail Studio, uh, I mean, let me show you the gallery first. If you hit Add Content there, you will see uh, the list of all the templates that, that we have available. Uh, I don't know, we have uh, articles here, different um, way of um, uh, navigating this. You can, you can, I don't know, choose forms, uh, form. Uh, you can uh, also, let me remove this. You can also filter by bundle. So um, I'm in the pro bundle, but the basic bundle is the content that is totally free for everyone. So here you have, it's a, a set of interconnected screens that shows uh, information about news on sample data. And there are lists, there are details, uh, login forms, sign up forms that are available for uh, anyone that installs this and, and use it without any license issues or, or whatsoever. So these are the, the free screens and I, I'm gonna use this because they're available for everyone. First thing you need to do is to, if you don't have one, you may have a folder, but I don't because it's a new project. I, I'm creating a, a views folder to place my templates. And I'm going to, you know, drag and drop a login screen, a uh, detail page, and uh, let's use a list. And in the configuration here, you can rename. For now, what you can do is rename the namespace or the, or the, or the name. I'm going to just remove the news the news um, I put list here, uh, just generic names. And the other thing I'm going to do is to go to this extensions panel to include this uh, extension, which is um, a simple page that will let me uh, navigate all the screens that we are uh, bringing to the project while, while we run the, the thing. I'm going to show you now. So. Um, before anything happens into actually into the project, I mean the solution explorer looks exactly the same as it was before. We always uh, show the preview the changes here in this in this window. And for instance, if we open the app SAML CS, you will see that we are replacing the main page with uh, with this navigation page to to demo the the pages that uh, that we we bring in. If we open the MAUI program, for instance, you can see that it, it's going to install a few fonts, uh, material design icons is the font that we use in the, in the free screens, uh, and it declares a few hundreds there. Um, I don't know. And here you have the new stuff, like the pages and the place and, and everything. So let's hit continue. OK. And let's close this diff. And now uh, let's run this. And now what, what you can see is that we have uh, the views here, detail page, list page, and login page, plus this extension page that will list the, the available content to, to open it in, uh, in the emulator. Uh, it also has a template because uh, the lists um, uses template. And we also provide uh, sample view models uh, for you to, I mean, for, for this to have uh, live data. Everything is data bound, so we follow the model view model pattern, and and the view models are very simple, and they load data from JSON, okay, like this. Uh, all our flows and everything has the data. You will replace it with a actual an actual uh, backend call, and that's it. The other thing that we have here is a 
a folder with themes. Let me open this. The like theme is the default theme that we have in the in the uh, pre tier. Okay, so the theme is a resource dictionary. It's very neat and tidy. It has some values here on top. Then we have uh, colors, of course, and they are all sorted like uh, in, in triples. Uh, and then we have a few uh, aliases here to base some specific usage of colors into other colors. And, and this, this is something that we, we work uh, hard in this last release to uh, restructure all the themes based on a, on a future design system that we are creating that will probably work also in, in other platforms, not just in, in Maui. So let's see how it looks. This is pretty there. cool because you know you just came in, started a new project, and now all of a sudden you're just like, hey, what is my app going to look like? And boom, we have some yeah. pages. No, we we try to mimic, you know, like when anyone is starting um, a project. Like in general, what we saw is like uh, the way they solve, especially developers, the way they solve the design part of it is like they they will Google first things like similar to what they are trying to build, and they're trying to mimic that. So what if we can have everything in, in one library you know at the you know at, uh, one click distance we can we can we can create that we did that with the design system that you mentioned and now we are able to to inject more content uh, via this this add-in and you know and have it like available for everyone and every and every piece of new content it's compatible with the with the grad, with the full grad UI. So, at the end, our vision is to create a you know huge library of component re reusable resources, templates, and everything controls that that are compatible. And if you need something, just drag and drop the thing into your project, and you know with a few customizations there, it will it will um, take the theme that you have configured, and it will work like a charm. Let's say. That that's the the vision of it. I mean, the, it, yeah. it's. And it's in that direction. It's not quite ready yet to be like that magically, uh, but but it, it's on the way. Yeah. Uh, let me, let think, me show you. Sorry. Go oh. ahead. Yeah, yeah. I think what's cool is like you were showing the detail page, right? And it's like that's a pretty advanced page. Like when people think of like yeah. login page or list page, you're like you know, there's a lot going on there, and you yeah. just sort of now have the XAML and this markup, and you can just like customize it to your liking, right? Which is yeah. so cool. You can do what anything you want exactly that's that's the goal it's very that's something that every, everyone says about with Grail is that it's very flexible because you have the code so you can do whatever you want so going back to what Pablo mentioned um, everything is um, uh, works around this uh, design system and these themes so if we go to the, the, the theme options or app settings here what stop, we can do is to Stop a moment there, Diego, because I, I really like this design panel we have here with the preview. Cool. It's pretty cool, right? <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. yeah. This is uh, we, we have we have included here previously in, in the in the in the web version of, of uh Grail custom customization, we only had one color. But we tried with multiple, but but developers well, I, I know that because I am a developer. I break everything. So now we went for, for three colors. We try to to we have preview here. So let's say you want, a I don't know, a, an orange accent color or primary color. And then you want to change this into a dark theme, which is kind of rad. Uh, and you can come here with the background, just something like that, and, and change the text to light something lighter to so it's still readable. And if we apply changes here, we go back to the changes panel, OK? Ah, and yeah. if we, it, it will change only the light theme, of course, which I, I have here. I hit yes here, and it, it's changed. And if we go back to the emulator, there it, it oh, is. So it's uh, everything stands in, on top of these um, colors and, and, and font sizes and stuff like that. There are not that much. So it's very simple to to understand. So here, the probably the code reload is can, having some issues with the yeah. with the navigation bar. But we we start again. It will it should look uh, totally brown. So let let me show you something that it's 
school is not dogmatically related to Grail, but it is, but, but it's not. So are icon, icons. I, uh, we all know that icons are are beautiful, but but they are also sorry. Let's go to the login page, but they are also can be Painful. hard to to work <laughs> with. So here, what we have is an icon panel that that will list all the icons that you got from Grail, and you don't have to search for uh, any anywhere or to remember the names of the characters, or whatever. Just can uh, uh, here and. And uh, let me open this login page, uh, login page here, there. So what we can do with these icons are not only search and um, and change the fonts, but we can also like do something like like drag and drop here. Uh, I dra I drop it in the wrong place. So let move it to the top. So it's here. It's kind of small. So let me make it uh, bigger like 50 and let's center that so as as easy as that you have your icon there and you we didn't need to leave the application uh, i don't know if we want to change it to to this that pablo likes so much you can <laughs> double click here and we know that you are uh, on, on, on top of an icon so we change the the actual icon if you if you can see here what we do is to, what we have is um a helper C sharp class with static properties. So even if you you, you have autocomplete here, so it's it's nice. And the other thing that you can do in this panel that is it's kind of good, cool, is that you can um, besides bringing some of the fonts that we have available, you can actually go and pick your own TDF. Uh, I have Lucid here, and if I hit OK. Again, we are going back to the changes panel. Uh, it's telling me that it's uh, going to change the MAUI program to declare the font, and it will bring the TDF and also the helper class. Uh, they, this is all done locally, so there's not, it's not a TDF goes to our server or anything like that. Uh, if we go like that, and if we go back to the panel, now I have Lucid, and I could go here and um, drag and drop an icon that it won't work because I need to recompile because this class is not uh, yet compiled. So let's um, put it recompile here. Um, what else can I can I can I show you? Well, sometimes something that that we are um, um, about to release, but it's not already finished. Uh, it's an option to. Um, help you with the localization, OK? So we have an option here that it says localize SAML. And if I hit this, again, changes, you can see that uh, this is the main page that comes with the default template of the MAUI. So it's a hello world, welcome to the MAUI platform, whatever. These this, um, uh, strings are replaced by by uh, this translate extension that comes with trial. And in the app resources, we have these uh, entries here uh, localized, OK? So that's something that, that is pretty cool also. Uh, you don't have to care about um, like localizing beforehand. You can do it uh, on bulk, one file, multiple files. Or you can even like uh, go to the SAML editor and right click in a property and say localize, and that string will go to, to the app resources. And related to that, the, the last thing I want to mention is that we are also including uh, something cool that is adding languages to the application. So we can come here and pick Spanish. Um, it's, it's not already working, but it's almost there. And what it will, it will do is to translate to any, any language that you, that you picked. And if we don't have that uh, already translated, it will use OpenAI in, on Azure to, to give you the translations. And of course, you can at any time, translate a ResX file. Uh, I will use the OpenAI uh, um, Azure services on, on our backend to give you beautiful translations on any language that, that, that you want. So that's something that, that is also uh, a, a neat tool that will like uh, help you save some hours, probably, or minutes. Uh, 
Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think it's so cool because, you know, some people might think like, oh, okay, like this is just a studio for the toolkit, but actually it's as I'm developing my application really helps to be way more productive uh, when, when doing this stuff. Cause I can, I know from experience, all those little things that you show it and applying it across and making sure everything's correct, even translations is yeah. a lot of work. So this is awesome. Um, this is so cool. And I really appreciate you two coming on, showing off all the cool features. Um, and it's also awesome that there's like a free uh, version as well, starter yeah. edition too, so people can go try it out. Um, I'll put links to everything below, including the .NET Conf session and all the previous stuff that y'all did. Um, and whenever you roll out new features, we got to have you guys back on to talk about it. How's that awesome. sound? Oh, cool. Perfect. Yeah, sure. Cool. Yeah. Well, awesome. Thank you, James. Awesome. Pablo, Diego, thank you so much. And thanks to everyone for tuning in. Check out all the links below for everything that you saw here today. And make sure if you're over on the Donut YouTube that you hit that like button. It really helps other people find this video. And of course, subscribe so you stay up to date every time we put out a video right here. All right, that's going to do it for this week's On.net. So until next time, I'm James. This is On.net. And thanks for watching. <laughs>